day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. And look, the thing that Balance the Elder was talking about is when he did the parable of the, uh, the, the, the prodigal, they call it the prodigal son, but it was the story between the father and two sons. Yeah. And that boy came back and said, I have sinned against you in heaven. That's right. I'm sorry, man. I messed up bad. <laughs> and, I, and I like the fact that you said, yeah, you know, he basically coming back saying, I'm sorry. Make me a, I'm ready to pay the price. Make, make me yeah. a servant. I, I, I know you're, I'm your son, but because of what I did, make me a servant. It's, 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 it's the whole point I'm saying is when we heard this conversation, because those who probably listen, what y'all talking about? The bottom line I'm saying is by sowing the word of God in the hearts of man, in the police, in your neighbor, everybody that God leads you to. And by us operating as a network, Many of us are being placed in positions to sow into the hearts of man. Oh, yeah. There's maybe even somebody gonna listen to this videotape one day, uh, Brother Addison, that in the middle of the night, they just, Lord, I'm looking for an answer. And, and he, he laid them to this They're one. They're gonna be like, <laughs> I don't know what that dude's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> the, the you know, that, 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 uh, that, that is, we commend our love toward people. We love our enemies because we told them to do so. Yes, sir. We, we forgive folk because we told them to do so. But because we're not representing ourselves, we're actually representing our God. I know it. We are, yeah, dead, but... we are the manifesting image of the invisible God right now. So when they see us, they have to see the love of God demonstrated. But they weren't at the cross. We, the ones who were, you know, looking, I guess, looking to be there to see the compassion that the Lord had for us and that He the sacrifice of Jesus' life for our sake. They saw how much the God loved us. And he uses us now to demonstrate that same love to folks that don't know him. It's not a pleasant experience. But he tells us, take up your cross daily and follow after me. I want yeah. you to show my love to somebody else. And get what they're going to do when, it, when you do it. They're going to crucify you. <laughs> they will crucify you because the world system ain't accustomed to that. Yeah. But yeah. God got our back. And we have, to, we have to really realize that, you know, we're not. And in, in, in asking Brother Essence, Essence, you know, coming, I don't believe that God will allow you, if he knows your desire to serve him, it's sincere. He won't allow you to die in unforgiveness. I don't think God ain't sending us up to send us to hell. I think that was the grace of God is for. Yeah, that's a grace yeah, of God. He, he, yeah. he definitely had done all that he can to save us. So he ain't going to trick us into getting the complete going. Well, I, don't, you know I don't believe that. I, I really don't. I, I just, it was just so definitive you know and and i can't get past that a lot of things that jesus talked about was because of the law and the dispensation he was in well, he talked, and he i said, just believe that that's just one of them and i'm not saying that that doesn't carry over into right. this dispensation the uh the uh the fundamental practices of it well, I'm just saying that all I know is all my sins have been forgiven. Yeah, and you know, it allows you to forgive, but you do. What you're saying is it doesn't it, say as long as I, I forgive. That was, it, it, that was Jesus didn't. The Bible never said that Jesus died for all my sins as long as I forgive. If if he said really? that you, the scripture said that you just read. If you don't forgive, here's, a, here's I brought this up for you too. This is the dispensation that we're in. Are you agreeing with me? This is the dispensation okay. that we're in. This yep. is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 2, starting in verse 5 through 11. If you'd like to okay. read that, I appreciate it. Uh -huh. Go ahead and read it for us, sir. But if any have caused grief, he hath not grieved me but in part, that I may not overcharge you all. Sufficient to such a man is this punishment, which was inflicted of me, so that contrarywise ye ought rather to forgive him and comfort him, lest perhaps such a one should be swallowed up with, with overmuch sorrow. 
Wherefore I beseech you that ye would confirm your love toward him. For to this end also did I write, that I might know the proof of you, whether ye be obedient in all things. To whom ye forgive and any you forgive anything, I forgive also. For if I forgive, forgave anything to whom I forgave it, for your sake forgave it in the person of Christ. Mm -hmm. Now you preach. Now you preach. That's huh. cool. You forgive anything, I forgive also. In the person of Christ. For if I forgive anything to whom I forgave it, for the sake forgave it in the person. I, I it in the person of Christ. And that's how I am. And, and that's how I come to the end of myself. Amen, man. Because I can tell you on many occasions, I'm talking about, I'm like, I'm done. And then as time goes on, I forgive them, you yes. know? And it's not, it's not of myself, it's the spirit of God in me that's Amen. dealing with me. So in and of myself, there's been plenty of times I could care less about a person that that wronged me in, in, in such a way. But as Christ deals with me, I forgive. But I don't forget sometimes. <laughs> well, you, well, you I will learn say from, that. Right? You should learn from it. But you didn't. Yeah, and that that's what I'm saying. I don't forget in the manner of speaking that. that I, I try to avoid putting myself in that position. Exactly. Because if you got to forgive somebody 490 some day, nine times a day, you probably need to leave that person alone. But you didn't forget, you didn't read that last verse. I thought it maybe. Wait, wait, you know something though? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, wait. He didn't read that last verse. What verse was that? 11. I read it. I didn't that Satan it. should get, get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Because I that's, mean, any, that's what sin does. That's all. Sin, all sin does is 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 make a inroad for With Satan devil. to come in and wreak havoc in your life. In your life, other outside of sin, he has no authority or power or any ability to do anything right. to anybody. And I like that scripture. Said, I like that scripture said for the wages of sin. That sounds like an over and again. That's why it's read that parable. You know, the elder, the wages of sin is death. Yeah, yeah. Is using a monetary term to deal with a spiritual issue. <laughs> Just yeah. like he used that parable. That man owed a lot of debt. Yeah, and, and, and also, you don't normally get paid wages until you finish the work. Ooh. A lot of times we do stuff and it come back more later. <laughs> so you really don't want to wait to get saved. <laughs> Because it's a it's a debt. It's yeah, a you, debt. You, you 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 racking up a pretty big bill though. <laughs> yeah. and, and and I think that's the whole purpose of the blood of Christ is that he he, he wash away the sin yeah. that's in us. And and I think to me I think <laughs> we, I know we have referred to that as a continuous process because I sinned yesterday, but I, I also have a opportunity to, to hurt, harm somebody, get something wrong to somebody. Normally and sometimes unknowingly. Can, can, can and I, I go and ask God for that forgiveness and to forgive them because they do something to me. There, there, there is a difference, I think, in being a sinner and sinning. I mean, it's, it's like when we were born to the earth, we were born sinners. Yeah, but when we're born again, sin. we actually become sons and we're, 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 we're in the family. We can commit acts that line up with sin, but we'll never be sinners again. So. But so, but there's a scripture and nothing wrong. I'm gonna bring uh, 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 Brother Addison's uh, attention, and I got, I can't remember it. Please. But it said that the sons of the kingdom would be cast out of the outer darkness with the unbelievers. So there's a there's a place that kind of implies that even as we are saved, you know, even as we are born again, nothing is ripped us out of His hands. But we can't step out. You know, we can reject the salvation and end up in the same place as the Satan. Right, because I think those people that said, Lord, 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 I know, Lord, Lord, to me, I think those people that said they were saved. Yeah, so it, said, it, we I have never. a lot to do with our salvation. But if we want to be saved, I believe, like Paul said, I believe that he has begun a good work in me, will bring it to fruition. 
if and we it, really sincerely want to be saved, God gonna take us yeah, through what it takes. And, and that's that's my point. Yeah. Uh, it's hard for me to believe that Christ would say, "Depart from me, I never knew you." So I don't. I just can't imagine them ever being saved. I do know people pretend they yeah. they play or think they say they, they, because you know they, they, they attempt to be out. Christians or yeah. they they do stuff. For I mean, I can turn the TV in and watch ten ministers yeah. talk about a thousand dollar seed and how special that is, and how you get a special blessing for that. But you know, you know but you so, know, there's a you know, if would you accept that if you're a servant of God, then you could be considered a saint? It don't mean I'm saying it because I have to throw this scripture. The elder one. No. And I'm looking can it up you, for you can you repeat the, your question? Can you be a servant? and not be saved of God. You can be a servant and not be saved? Servant? I think you can because... You can be a uh, servant and not saved? Uh, yeah. What's his know. name? Uh, Pharaoh was a servant. Yeah, everybody is really. <laughs> yeah, now listen. So, so Elder, this, one, this is the one that you were referring to. And guys, I really appreciate y'all staying as long, but I think it's worth it, if y'all mind. Oh. Look, it's never I'm too long ball. for me. That's all it's I got. Yeah, this should all be the long. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Elder, this one right here, uh, it's implying somebody that's saved because they got a gift from God. <coughs> they remember we said the gift can call them God is a gift. So I think it's worth it. Yeah, 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 it's worth Verse 14, can you read that parable for us? For the kingdom of heaven is, is as a man traveling to a far country who called his own servants and delivered to them his good. Now, stop for a second. Did that, you, you agree with that? He even talked about the kingdom. Yeah. The same, thy kingdom come. That, <clears> I mean, Brother <throat> Addison, are we agree with that? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. And to one, he gave five talents to another two, and to another one to every man according to his several abilities and straight away took his journey. Okay. And he that had received I'll the five talents. I'll, I'll stop for a second too for the people that are reading. Like you said, that that's the opening scripture said the kingdom of heaven. The Lord's prayer is thy will be done in earth. Right, Elder? Right. As it is in heaven. Yeah. I just want to throw that in there. That's, I think it's important for people to Go ahead, Al. I'm sorry. Then he said, then he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same and made them over five talents. And likewise, he that had received two, he also gained other two. But he that... Uh -oh. I saw I moved it. Can I move it up a little bit? Because you're going to run out oh, of space. Yeah, yeah. Let me move it up a little bit. Will you stop that, uh, Verse okay. what? Uh, he that received, uh, I think it's 1820 to 1820. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. And I, I'll move when you're ready, though. Next time. 25, 18 is where I'm at. And he that had received one went and digged in the earth, and he hid his Lord's money. After a long time, the Lord of those servants coming. Sound like, sound like Revelation to me. <laughs> it's so like Revelation to me. <laughs> and so I mean, he I'm talking, had, I'm talking about coming back. I'm talking about when Jesus come back, right? We're talking about waiting for the Lord to return. Right? I'm saying that sound that it's a parable. Yeah. And I'm saying he's coming back. So this one went to a long journey and then he's coming back. Go ahead, Elvin. Right. Long time. Uh -oh. After a long time, the Lord of the servant coming, or those servants coming, and reckon it with them. And so he that had received five talents came and brought other five talents, saying, Lord, thou deliverest unto me five talents. Behold. I have gained beside them five times more. Hmm. His Lord said to him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou <laughs> into the joy of thy Lord. He also that had received two talents came and said, Lord, thou delivered unto me two talents. Behold, I have gained two other talents beside them. He said unto him, well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee rule over many things. 
enter thou into the, thy joy of thy Lord. Then he which had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I know thee that thou art a hard man, reaping where thou didst not sow, where that had, I'm sorry, thou hast not sown, and gathering where thou hast not strawed. And I was afraid, and when it hid thy talented earth, lo, mm -hmm. there thou hast that which is thine. His Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked and slothful servant, mm. thou knewest that I reap where I sowed not, and gather where I had not strawed. Thou oughtest therefore to have put my money to the exchanges, and then at my coming I should have received mine own with usury. Interest, huh? Uh -huh. Take, mm -hmm, they got interest on it, right? Yeah. They get to <laughs> take therefore the talent from him and give it to him which has ten talents. I'm gonna come up now for you. I'm gonna go. Yeah, that's enough right there. Cover. Go ahead. Yeah. For unto everyone that has shall be given. Yes, sir. And he shall have abundance. But from him that has not shall be taken away even that which he had. Mm. And cast ye the unprofitable servant into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Now, the one thing I think after you would bring up the fact is, I, I give it, this person has something. Just like you've been given something. You've been given forgiveness. Right? But right. It, it, and to me, hiding it in the earth, the talent that was given to you, and putting it in the earth I means getting into the cardinal part. That's wild, man. That's pretty, pretty good. Ain't it though? Hey, it ain't bad. I like that. <laughs> yes, sir. I, I, I took my talent, I took my gift, and I sold it into cardinality. You, you you took your talent, you know, you took your forgiveness and sold it into somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> you were given forgiveness, you yeah. sold forgiveness, and you received Wow. Yes, sir. Ain't that something? In other words, those who, who, who were profitable multiplied. Cause cause in order for to, to gain that other person, if they show forgiveness into them, then they would become a part of the kingdom. Come on. So God sows forgiveness into us, we become a part of the kingdom. Then we take that and invest it in other people, they become a part of the kingdom. Yes, then sir. we get rewarded for that. Yes, so what sir. do you put? The, the, the fruit of the spirit, the fruit, love, joy, peace, long suffering, patience, meekness, he sowed that into us. Mm -hmm. Some 34, people. some 60, some 100. Some 100. Praise God. The principle is there. Ain't it? That's why he's saying is, I, I'm going to forgive you because I don't want to mess my blessing up. Now you're preaching. You know, so he, he's not for simple principle. But yeah. but it does also show that Elder you catch that? I gave it. Crazy God. Take it away. You didn't want to use it. You said you said you want to hold it. You want to hide it. You, I got no interest from it. I ain't got nothing. an interest from your wife. I ain't get it. I ain't get I ain't get no interest from your wife, your children, I ain't get interest from nothing. <laughs> Funny part about it, that's just how it started. You've been given a measure, a measure. Yes, of sir. Faith. And, and the fact is, I like that that parable here we just read is if you become unprofitable and you operate in fear, because he said the just will live by faith. If you call that man, he was afraid. Per perfect love casts out all fear. Ooh, perfect love casts out. Fear not a God. <laughs> Come on, man. So I think I think that's one of the things that if we could close with that, but I think that's something to chew on is that and i think that's something that the body of christ needs to continue to work with is i forgive you, you, you know, that makes I, I forgive you because because i'm not interested in taking something from a white person i'm not interested in taking something from a police officer I, i'm only interested in in my what god has given me what, what's that song with god what what he has for me that's is for me, it is for me. But you trying to take my, you mad because I'm trying to get what he's given me. And I'm saying the fact that we came all the way out of slavery. But and, you know something though? The, the greatest like, gift that he gave us was forgiveness. Yes, sir. That's a strange thing that I even prayed for that last week. But, I mean, because I mean, that was the first time I really went before the Lord and said, you know, Lord, I need to forgive me. Yeah. But it means that he's giving something that we can't get on our own. Nope. You giving can't us pay. his life. He's, he's, He's he's initiating a relationship with us. Yeah. He's forgiving. 
Yes, sir. He's, he's, he's giving us life. Yeah. And then when we get that life, we got something to give somebody else. Come on, so brother. We can forgive them. <laughs> the, more, the more I give, I get. Yeah. I give mercy because remember the beatitude. That's remember what it said. Blessed are the merciful. Be merciful, shall receive mercy.